Hey, Dennis. Welcome to New York. Thanks. From, uh, can you just walk us through? I mean, you're obviously, you know, you're an experienced player. You've seen this side of the game before, but can you just walk us through how the day went for you? How did you find out mm -hmm. that you had gotten traded? Who told you? And what were your initial thoughts that you were coming to Brooklyn? Uh, I mean, Marco Bajastein, he's my agent. He called me uh, while I was asleep. Uh, came in late last night um, from a world game and uh, uh, he called me a couple of times. I woke up and he told me that I'm, you know, going to Brooklyn. And um, I mean, having a family, having three kids, you know, wife, uh, it's not easy. But um, at the end of the day, nothing really changed. Um, of course, I go to a, um, a new city, new situation. But at the end of the day, uh, we play basketball for a living and um, really extremely grateful for it. And. Um, can't wait, you know, to get to know everybody in the locker room, front office, everybody who is, you know, in this organization and get to work. Dennis, also, welcome to New York. Um, you've played with Lonnie, you've played against Mikhail and uh, Cam in the World Cup last year. Just kind of what excites you about being on a team where you, you kind of seen these guys, obviously, as competitors, but you get to see them up close in the summer as well, and Lonnie last year, but just what does that, does that think of me, will that make it an easy transition, you think, for you? Yeah, I mean, um, I've been in the, in the league long enough to, you know, I watch a lot of basketball, a lot of basketball games in my free time, and uh, try to learn, you know, the game of basketball every day, every single day, try to get better, and I think we got a lot of talent in this, you know, locker room. Um, I mean, I remember when Mikhail and Cam, they was in, um, on the Phoenix team, and uh, we played them in the first playoff round. Um, really, really talented players. Lani, we made it last year to the Western Conference Finals. He had um, really big games uh, for us, and I think everybody else in that locker room, you know, have great intentions uh, of winning, and um, I just want to, you know, every single day um, give everything I have, you know, to um, win the day or win the game when we have one. Welcome, Dennis. Um, I'm just wondering what your perceptions are of moving to New York for the foreseeable future. You know, what you think about the city, about Brooklyn, and I guess how you're feeling about living here now. Uh, big city um, from uh, Germany, Braunschweig, 250,000 people only. Um, really small city, um, but at the end of the day, like I said, I mean, um, I'm a family person, um, always with my kids, my wife, um, and my loved ones. And um, of course, the traffic uh, gonna hurt a little bit, but um, other than that, I mean, uh, New York is always, uh, I mean, a big city, but it was always fun when I was here. Um, fans in Brooklyn um, was great as well, so. Um, I'm just excited, you know, uh, take it day by day and um, try to get some wins. Uh, Dennis, you, you know, you come to this team with plenty of experience, especially in the playoffs and just, you know, being a good player in this league. What, what do you think is the primary thing that you bring to a team like the Nets with the way the roster is currently set up? I mean, don't matter what the uh, circumstances are, I want to, I, I just want to win, you know, and um, having that mentality um, of doing it as a, as a, as a team, um, having a leader out there, just, you know, talk to teammates, uh, even if it's, you know, a bad situation. Um, I mean, I'm always, you know, try to be straightforward with guys and people, I want people to be uh, the same way with me. Um, if they see anything, what I can do better, and just call it out and then we go from there. And um, that's how I've been my whole career. And um, it's just for, you know, uh, great intentions, um, just for winning basketball. And um, that's what I try to bring here.